What's up guys, let's take a look at Libra and see what comes out. Reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. If you want to learn tarot, I have courses available at Running a Tarot across all social media. Ace of Wands in the reverse is in the context of the Six of Wands. Okay, so there is a victory kind of, there's no guarantees in life, but it feels like a guarantee or a shoe in. Um, if you're not Libra, take this for your seventh house cross watcher. No action is needed at the time. And you see the conflict here. These cancel out the ace in the reverse and the six in the upright to the five. That's conflict, competition, battling for a relationship, battling for a position, uh, a new work position. Six of wands in the upright is the victory. It's the shoe in insured here. Let's really extend it on over to TikTok and YouTube. Um, top of the world. So it feels as though that you come out, you know, flying colors, quite literally. Like you are the top prospect, you are the top candidate. Candidate. Three of Wands in the reverse. Although you don't see it, you may not feel it. Okay, you may not be intuiting it. Could be matters of meekness, shyness, not giving yourself the credit, not giving yourself, maybe even in some instances, the big world overview as a possibility. You see him standing on the um, world here. Now we have two of wands energy here being channeled when you have all of these canceled out, right? three in the reverse cancels out that five in the upright that we spoke to and that gives you that two of world in the upright two of wand in the upright and in the traditional two of wand you have the individual the young emperor protagonist the viewer the whole world in his hands and from that kind of mustard seed this great grandiose big awesome reality emerges Ten of Swords in the Upright is a tentative energy here, though. Almost as if you've been betrayed before, you've been burned in the past. So, Two of Pentacles is what's being channeled here, where I kind of say the paradox of where you are being, like, uploaded into the highest possible reality, heaven, whatever. But you are recognizing it and feeling it and channeling it here and now. So you get the best of both worlds of the process and the journey, the destination while actually enjoying the process here. Anything else with this Ten of Swords in the upright here, Spirit? The decisive energy of this King of Swords, okay? A decision being made here. A crystallizing. Three of Cup in the reverse is pointing to the two, meaning the reality is condensing and collapsing. The bridge, the path forward to this reality, through this timeline. Nine of pentacle in the upright, single, successful. Yeah, they may be seeing you as this, um, whatever the context that this is in, is this viable option. Final card here, and then we'll roll this on over to Scorpio or Eighth House Cross Watcher. See, this is giving like you might view yourself here, but in all actuality and reality, you're actually up here. But you're so used to playing small here, just so you could be a beneficiary of that differential. I'm going to do this for three hours straight. <laughs> that you might end up being surprised here. Three of Pentacles. A housing, an enclosure, a place of business. Finding yourself in, in a love interest's, you know, pad, in their crib, in their location, in their, <laughs> in their venue. Okay, let's roll this on over. That's very interesting. Um, leaning more so on the kind of work, 
the, the pentacle, the three of pentacle is more of an industrious. You could meet this person as they are working as well. So don't be surprised. Okay. All right, let's roll this on over to Scorpio and or eighth house. Crosswatcher. How'd you boy? Please. 